Hey, Soul Family, how's it going? I say, may the force be with you all during Mercury Retrograde because it's doing a number on me. And we're going to stay positive. We're going to stay positive. We're going to ask for help. Song just finished playing, Hey, Soul Sister. <laughs> You're just my type. And the Legend of the Phoenix begins right after that. Gotta love that, right? That's a good way to start. All ends with beginnings. How interesting is that? It should be begins with endings, right? All right, I gotta hold my phone in my hand. I don't even know why, it's not charging, so I don't need to hold my phone in my hand. It keeps telling me it doesn't support my device. <laughs> I spent the last four hours on the phone with uh, Asurian and uh, Verizon, and uh, it's time for this phone to go, it's time to get a new one. It was cool though, I watched this morning as um, my, I woke up really early and, and I watched online how my family, soul family, was out in the streets of Sturgeon Bay as they watched the old granary being delivered from one side of the town across the bridge to the, to the, to the old side of town actually. So new side to old side, side. interesting. So you, they went back to old school. I like that. I, and it's amazing what they can do. And it's, it's a little, it, it was a battle. They were, the granny, we were, they were trying to tear it down and the city was riling against it and fighting and fighting and, you know, we came right down to the wrecking ball, right down to the wire. But they had faith and they pulled through and it, they were victorious, which is kind of like what Spirit's been saying to us. You know what? It's been taking its time to happen, but have faith. You're going to be victorious. That's what they've told us. But you know what I found too, as I watched, the granary was taken from its resting place on the west side and it was taken across to the east side. So it was separated, it's interesting, somebody said it was sad to see it separated from its sibling. Um, so it's like families are being separated, which we've been shown that, you know, spiritually, um, it's been happening with people, as far as, you know, when they awaken the families, uh, there's been separations in family, but they moved across the bridge, and you think about it, build a bridge from where you are to where you wanna be, right? Where you wanna get. And it was being taken to its new home. Now, it wasn't, it was separated from its family. They were across the bridge, but it's going to stand and start its life on the other side, on the west, I mean, on the east side. So there's moving from one area to the other. There's separating going on. We saw that contracts being broken, but this was, but, but it was victory. So even though it was bittersweet and the same thing, when there's endings to something, there's a beginning of something new. So that's what they're showing. Um, we have to have faith that everything is working out in the highest good. And sometimes it feels like we're not getting anywhere and we got to go right down to the wire, um, before we we're victorious, but, but spirit says we're going to be victorious. I'm asking for a message from the crystal Oracle. I can't really think right now. I'm, uh, uh, I put out a post yesterday saying, let's see if you can go 24 hours without complaining. Well, I didn't make it. <laughs> I was complaining this morning. So I'm like, I am redoing my energy. I'm shifting. I'm going to get out of that mood. I threw my pen across the room. I literally had to have the, um, the Verizon guy stay on the phone with me to talk to the Asurian representative, you know, the, the insurance person, because the person came on and I, they, they weren't, they didn't, I, I'm, I'm not being ignorant because I'm not a prejudiced person, but there was no way without having somebody do sign language, I could understand a word the woman said. Why are people chosen to be telephone communicators when they are not able to be understood you know and I said look I don't want to get nasty I said I'm, I'm, I'm not doing good my head's pounding I'm stressed out I got to get working and I said I don't understand her I said this is the second person they've come on and so he was like a go-between and he he had to ask her to repeat herself so many times he couldn't understand her either oh god so it's almost like a go-between for us and sometimes we don't understand the way things are going so then we get guidance right we get messages and it's I don't understand why why is this happening so then we ask spirit can you help me understand this can you help me break this down sometimes we need mediators between people right sometimes you're not able to get your point across or you're not able to understand where somebody else is coming from and it and what happens is you need to cooperate there needs to be cooperation there needs to be compromise there needs to be patience and 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 the will to understand and I got to tell you it took everything in me to stay calm, and I, and I didn't. I threw my pen across the room. Finally, I just shut my mouth and I let him talk because I knew, you know? And uh, I get it, I get it. You know, I, I, was, I was talking myself down the whole time. I am calm, I am peace. It's, it's gonna be over in a few weeks. Mercury retrograde's gonna be done. We're gonna be back on the swing again. It's okay, it's okay. And in the meantime, this phone that's been nothing but a fuck up since I got it, 
and I mean every since I got it, I've probably spent hundreds of hours on the phone. Like, no, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. I literally spent days and days and days and days down at the I, uh, you know, the Apple Store on Verizon. I've lost so much time We're trying to fix this phone that doesn't work. And sometimes, you know what? You got to get a new one. It doesn't work. So stop press pushing wet spaghetti up a hill. Bite the bullet. It's going to cost you a little bit. But you got to get something different, you know? I had to pay the insurance, and, and that's what insurance is for. <clears throat> so in your life, what's not working that you need to replace? You know, sometimes you have to replace it because it's not working. So maybe that's the message we got yesterday about, you know, leaving the job, leaving the project, whatever it is. You put a lot of time and effort into it, and it just doesn't work. So stop trying to force something that's not going to work. It's dead. Remember that? Dragon holding on to that skull. This phone is barely hanging on. It's not, it won't hold a charge even now. I hope I make it through the reading. <laughs> so, all right, first message for us. What shall it be? Stitch it in serpentine. That's interesting. Even just the way you say it. Stitch it in, stir, stitch it in, it's probably stitch tight, right? But when you look at it, it's like stitch it. <laughs> stitch it in serpentine. So, I get that message actually as I'm just thinking about that, just looking at that. Stitch it, if you put it like that, right? It's stitch tight, but if you do stitch it in serpentine, serpentine is the snake, that's healing. So if you stitch it up, something's healing. <laughs> that's what I'm getting, something's healing. And it's, it's, it's uh, the heart and, and communication. Or maybe your heart will heal if you communicate, because look at the color, the color blue is speech, and the color green is healing, and the heart chakra. So I'm looking at that, and it's a blend. It's all mixed in there together. You know, to me, that looks like the ocean. <laughs> it does. It looks like the ocean. I'm seeing sea turtles. I'm seeing, I'm seeing lying on my back in the ocean looking up at the blue sky. <laughs> I swear to God. So stitch it in serpentine. How about that? You know? So what's going on with it's stitch tight in serpentine? I, I'm going to find this crystal. It's pretty cool. Look at, we'll put the crystal. Look at the colors that we've got right next to it. <laughs> Blue and green. So, right now, before I even get into the message, ask the Father to help you heal your lines of communication. That's what I asked for, even with my phone. Think about it. I needed my, it, it, it wasn't charging. It kept telling me I, I cannot support this device on any charger that I had. There wasn't anything wrong with the chargers. There was something wrong with the device, right? It's time to replace it. So, please help me with, with this communication issue. I asked for spirit. So, for you, with the colors blue and the colors... Um, green for the healing in the heart chakra. We're asking for healing in our communication. So for the actual stitch tight and serpentine message, it's talking about fear and negative thoughts and they're preventing you from having peace. <laughs> totally makes sense, right? They're blocking creativity. They're blocking anything from moving smoothly. So you're feeling dull. You're feeling frustrated. You're feeling ugh, right? You, you can't create when your mind is in, in a muddled mess. So you need to choose, consciously choose to speak loving words, to speak affirmative words. I choose love. I choose peace. I choose healing. Right? You need to constantly rework your own mind. You have the ability. If you have to get to a place, close your eyes and sit in meditation and, and imagine yourself being just filled. This is water. This is healing water. Swashing, swishing all over your body. I went last night into the tub in, uh, in an acacia and what was the other, uh, yet Lang Lang, um, essential oil, sea salt bath. And I just soaked and pulled everything out of me. And I was there for quite a long time. So imagine yourself being bathed in these energies, the green and the healing energies. Imagine your heart and in your, your head and every, every aspect of yourself healing right now. Pull all the colors of the chakra in. Look at rainbows swirling around you. Imagine a rainbow. Get a rainbow medallion and look at it. The colors of the rainbow because the rainbow is the promise of good to come after a storm. And imagine those healing colors going through your mind, through your body. Imagine everything is in, in complete, full-on, 100% peace. I choose peace. I float in peaceful surroundings, peaceful setting. And practice this. Whenever you have a negative thought, whenever you have fear, start. My morning was hell. I'm telling you, hell. I, I'm, I'm, I have a quick temper. I've got, a, I've got like a hair trigger temper. I'll take it, take it, take it, and then I snap. And the volcano goes. And I knew 
<laughs> when the when, when by the fourth call got when the fourth call got dropped and my and my computer thing that I filled out three different times got dropped and I had to call in again the person says to me hello um, how are you doing today and I said and how are you feeling today that's what she said and I said I'm feeling incredibly frustrated and I hope you're feeling wonderful and she goes I'm feeling wonderful and as soon as I said it I thought you know what I stated again what was wrong and I said we're gonna I said uh, Please excuse my tone if I don't come across super hand friendly. It has nothing to do with you. I'm just, I'm, I'm in this space right now. And we're going to work through it. And the person was amazing. The person was amazing. I, I, I say thank you, Father. He knew what I was going through and I already asked for help. Thank you for at least having me get help, right? My landlord came up and he faxed off the paper that I needed to fax off. I don't have a fax machine. I wouldn't have been able to do my insurance claim without it, right? And I got it done right away because of help from that. I found that really nice person online that talked to the insuring agent for me, right? That is how spirit, so spirit's not going to take the trouble away, but they're going to help us through it. If you, if you ask for help and recognize it, recognize who helps you and thank them and be nice to them. I thank these people profusely and my landlord, you know, thank you so much for that help. So right now spirit's saying, we got you covered. Yes, there's difficulties, and we're not going to airlift you right out of every difficulty, but we will help you survive them. So it's about detoxifying your own thoughts, clearing your own energy, and doing this in a place of meditation and asking spirit to help you. I did it, and I, I'm telling you, all morning I've gotten emails that I haven't even answered because everyone's complaining to me, writing me books of complaints. And I thought, you know what? I'm sorry. And I woke up this morning, like about 5.30, that's when I started watching the, the, the move across the bridge and I was all excited and I was happy and I was writing, talking to my soul family in Wisconsin and then, then all that happened. So remember the weather the other day when it was inclement and it said prepare for challenges, prepare for anything. One minute it's going to go one way and then it's going to go sideways. We knew it was coming. I kept getting delays in communication. <laughs> well, there you go, right? So we have to prepare for it, handle it and, and recognize that we're not going to make it better if we lose our shit. I wasn't helping myself. It just gave me a headache, right? I had to let it go. I did what I could do and then past that, it's like, breathe. Okay, so here I see passion and I see prickly passion. <laughs> I see, now this could be anger. This could be annoyances because don't those look like prickles? You wouldn't want to land on that crystal. It's very beautiful when you look at it as a crystal, right? <laughs> but I see anger. I also see this, you know what's funny? Check it out, the hair. The nose, the chin, the shoulder. This is like the back of somebody. And all their hairs, are, their hairs are raised up on their head and on their back. Why? Are they paying attention to their intuition? Hmm. Maybe they've got an idea. Because this is the color of your sacral chakra. Creativity. Sexual energy. And that's what Spirit's saying with cro Crocite. That a new phase of your creative life is right around the corner. Possibilities. Maybe an, an encounter with somebody new in your life. Definitely Passion. Ability, the ability to bring greater optimism and positive energy. The, the solar plexus says, I am worthy. I can do it. I can do anything I set my mind to. I'm going to lift up my, my, my psychic antenna and I'm going to pay attention to what comes to me. When I have a thought, when the hairs on my back raise, when the hairs on my head raise, when the hairs on my arm, arm raise, I'm going to pay attention. I'm not going to push those thoughts away. Because right now your sexual energy is also on the rise and your sexual energy is your highest way of creating. It is the most powerful force that we have is our sexual energy. So it's going to be drawing us new people, new circumstances, under wonderful ideas. These are positive changes that are coming. But they want you to, now this is what I'm getting too. This prickly guy here looks like a porcupine, right? They're also telling you don't be deceived by appearances, right? Somebody might come across prickly. <laughs> they might come across, they may not look like your regular type. They may look really, really wonderful. They may be shiny and beautiful and gorgeous and nothing like that. So don't allow appearances to deceive you. You need to make sure that there is inner beauty, not just the outer surface. Because a pretty face wears out real fast when you've got an ugly soul, right? So don't leap. I mean, don't leap before you look. <laughs> ask the questions. Remember, we were supposed to ask the questions. We were going to be offered something and it was a tainted offer. So... Be careful. Not all of them are because this is a wonderful, there's wonderful opportunities, wonderful people, wonderful things coming our way. However, we got to use our head. 
also there could be love coming to you because sexual energy is on the rise and you're going to be drawing people now when your sexual energy is emanating like that when you're vibrating in that kind of a frequency that's because your frequency is high that's because you've worked to bring yourself to this frequency now when you're vibrating like that you send your your energy out like a beacon and you draw everyone to you this is kind of like mag this is kind of like um have you ever seen those little magnet pieces like that and they all stick up you know it's like a little game and it's all these little pieces well, they'll draw everything to them. So that's why you got to be careful. You're drawing the good, bad, and the ugly to you. So sift through it, right? Don't judge a book by its cover in the good or the bad. Use your head. Okay. Next message. <clears throat> Correct for neutrality on all levels. I'm getting a flush of heat going through my body right now. All the way up. And I'm not getting menopause. It's not what it is. Something else going on. I'm just feeling that right now, like a heat, supercharged heat going through me. My sexual energy is on the rise. Whoop. <laughs> it's Sandy's birthday today, our, our sister, Sandy Karasik. So happy birthday, Sandy. I want to get that out there. I've already sent her a happy birthday. But And congratulations, Sturgeon Bay. And good, you know, Christy McDonald, man, talk about woman power. Dang, man, this girl, this woman in Sturgeon Bay, she's like the ringleader for everything, you know? She's, if there's a cause, she's on it. And, and she fights like a bulldog until she gets, gets it done. And they saved that granary. They saved the bridge and they saved the granary. So don't ever think that a woman can't do what a man can do. Because she sure can. She gets these, um, she gets these vintage trailers, like um, pull trailers, you know, like, like not mo mobile homes, but trailers that you pull behind. And she fixes them all up and sells them. They're bitching. Shoot. I don't know what, I got to do that again. I don't know what card I picked. Sorry. I looked away for a second and I had other cards in my hand. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta do that again. Oh. Correct neutrality on all levels. And then they want me to go to one other deck for one message. All right, here we go. <sighs> Woo. <laughs> Let's try that again. Aquamarine. But gold is there too. Because at first I dropped the entire deck and, and I thought about that. I hesitated, hesitated on the gold, right? So I'm going to pull them both. And the gold is, first of all, telling you you're worth it. You're worth it. It's about self-worth. You see this man in meditation pose? Do you see this person in yoga pose? Seriously, there's his head, there's his arm, there's his hand up in mudra, right? Up in mudra position. There's the knee, like sitting cross-legged. So that person is going into meditation, that person knows the, 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 um, the benefit of going within. That person recognizes that it's important for them to have that quiet time, that peace in their life. And it's important to connect. They realize the importance of this because they recognize their self-worth. And that is what yellow, the gold, is about. Self-worth. It's a reflection of your own true inner worth. So Spirit's telling you, you're being urged to look beyond the outside and go within and recognize the, the, your, your true soul's worth inside. And looking at the gold, that's about money. That's about possessions. That's about, that's about achieving. And, and the thing is this. Yes, Spirit's been saying it may, we may need to simplify things. But there is nothing wrong with wanting to get ahead. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be financially successful. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be free financially. And not have bills dragging you down. Because... You can have a lot of freedom with money. A lot of confidence comes with money. You, you lose a lot of fear when you've got money. So there's nothing wrong with money. And there's nothing wrong with wanting that. That's how we, we use money in this system. That's, that's a bar. We don't have a barter system. You know, you give me this, I give you that. We have money. You know, when I had to get my, my phone insured, they, didn't, they wanted my credit card. Right? So there's nothing wrong with money. It is, we use this. And spirit realizes that it's not good. It's not bad. It's just something that we have to use. And, and it's important for us to have. That's why we all go to work. So sit in mudra pose and imagine yourself having all that you need. Being comfortable, being relaxed, being free. Having the ability to pay your bills without any stress. Take a vacation. Achieve whatever it is that you were wanting to achieve. Set a little goal, like I set a goal. By the end of the week, I want this much in my bank account. And then I let it go, but I, but I work on it. 
And then I, I, I almost reached it. I didn't get it on Friday, but I got it by Saturday. And this week I tried it again. And, and once you reach that goal, then set another goal a little bit more. But don't make them ridiculous. You know, make them attainable because so, you don't want to depress yourself. And then just allow it to unfold and recognize we deserve it. We deserve it. And sometimes abundance doesn't come in cash. It comes in help like I got today with my landlord. That helped me. That saved me money. It saved me time, which time is money, right? All of the help that I got today saved me money, which saved me time, which saved me money. I didn't have to go pay. I used his printer, right? He did it for me. That saved me money and time. I, the person helped me online, that saved me time, which saved me money so I could get working. All of it works together. Everything works in unison. Thank you, everyone. I mean, I'm even seeing the I in this person, right? It's so clear. So say thank you and recognize that I deserve it. Here's an affirmation for you or, or a statement actually. Within my heart flows a river of gold. I am one with the eternal light of creation. I manifest my dreams. I create abundance in my life through love. I like that. So then we go to aquamarine. This was my, the birth um, crystal of my little sister. My little sister, um, that, was her favorite, that was her favorite crystal. She had one ring and that's the color. And I had that ring for the longest time and I lost it. it made me really, really sad. My little sister died when she was <clears throat> 16. So I look at that and it's interesting that, that I see that color and, and it connects me with her. So aquamarine. It's a very peaceful color, isn't it? it it's, it's very calming, relaxing. That light, soft. It's a pretty color. So right now, whoever you are, male or female, they're telling you that you can overcome a conflict in your life. And you do it by acting the way that stone makes you feel. By being gentle, by being compassionate by applying moderation, by being tolerant. It's peaceful, right? That's the energy. So that's the energy that you want to put out. And these aren't signs of weakness, they're strengths. Believe me, it was strength. For me to remain calm <clears throat> and peaceful this morning, <clears throat> it took all the strength I had. Again, we always get that. Never mistaken a gentle, <laughs> quiet person for a weak one. That's strength. And that's what's needed right now. That Greater compassion, greater tolerance with a little bit of patience and, and definitely gentleness. You can resolve things. You can resolve things in an amicable way for everybody involved. If you lose your shit, everyone's going to get pissed off and it's not going to go anywhere. Ooh, we've got a party. We've got a party on the railing. There's a little finch and there's his girlfriend. Hi, guys. Oh, how cute are they? I love when they come and Oh, you know why they're here? They've probably gone through their food, their bird food. But the finch says that it's going to be a great deal of sudden activity. <clears throat> All of a sudden. So let's hope it's positive, right? Let's ask for positive. So whatever the situation you're going in, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use this about my situation this morning. As you look back on the episode, you will realize that you have learned a valuable lesson, right? If you were compassionate, if you were calm, if you were tolerant, you recognize you're being mature. You're not acting like a kid. You're not, you know, losing your mind. And in order to be this way, you definitely have to have love. So every issue, every situation that's going on, we need to say, what is the one thing that we can ask for that will help every situation? Love. Father, please fill me with unconditional love. Help me speak to the phone representative in an unconditionally loving way. Help me handle this in an unconditionally loving way. Right? Love heals everything. It helps us. So the key words, moderation, tolerance, gentleness, compassion, these are all feminine energies. But remember, it's whether you're a male or female. You hold on to those energies. That's the goddess energy. And we all have that within us. And you will have a better result. <clears throat> okay. Man, I'm clearing a lot today. Clearing a lot. Oh, we got one more that flipped right out at the bottom. All right. We'll take this one and then we're going to go. Jeez, I got to. I'm hoping my phone stays charged. Yes, it will. It'll stay charged. Okay. Jasper Red. Jasper Red. Oh, I have it. I have that somewhere. On my, uh, I don't know, in my crystals somewhere. I know the story for Jasper Red. This is talking about that you may find yourself drawn into a situation where you feel the need to help or console or work with somebody who has gone through a negative experience, somebody who might be suffering from 
depression or anxiety, you're, you feel compelled to be drawn into this situation. It could be a person, it could be an animal, like that little cat that went outside, right? I, I see anything struggling, I go right away. You're going to feel this. And you, you're going to want to share your love and your attention with them. And by doing that, you're not just giving to them, you're giving to yourself. Because whenever we give of ourselves in that way, we are also healing an aspect of ourselves that needs that love and that nurturing. So the one that's coming forward, and even for you, it's an emotional trauma that they've experienced. It could be something that they've just gone through or that they're dealing with that's come up. Because when we go through our awakening, it, 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 it's like the river of life. Um, as we move along, it lifts up the rocks in, in, in the stream. And when you, that's like picking out the past, the memories. When we awaken, we get our buttons pushed and all these past life stuff comes up, early childhood issues, whatever, stuff that we need to work on in order for us to heal them. And so for you and this one, it might be this life or it might be you know, you know, childhood earlier, maybe teen years, younger life, who knows? Or it could be even a past life. It doesn't matter. We don't have to try and figure it out. We just know that we are mirroring, all of us, mirror and we are drawn into situations by others and with others that mirror situations of our own <clears throat> that's why by you giving love and care and compassion and gentleness and understanding and patience which is the card we got before to this person or animal you're healing yourself as well it's a give give a win-win this is the healing power of love so remember this when uh, everyone's going through stuff right now, right? We're all stressed out. As I said, I had a lot of people writing to me this morning. I couldn't handle dealing with anybody else's stuff this morning because my whole world was blowing up. <laughs> and I appreciated the help that I got, right? I got, my landlord was right here instantly to help me. So I am grateful for that. And uh, now that my world's calmed down a little bit and, and I finish doing this reading and I get on my work line, I'll go back and start answering the emails one by one because I understand what it feels like to feel that way, right? We all have issues. And sometimes it's good, you know, if you're not having a crisis, I mean, mine was a crisis. I, my phone was dying and I need my phone for everything. And I needed to take care of it right then. But if you're not in a crisis and you're feeling kind of crappy, a lot of times the best way to help yourself out of that situation is to help someone else. It gets your mind off of you. And also, you find yourself helping another and you get your own answers too. It happens that way. Spirit lines things up that way. They know what they're doing. So try and become from a compassionate place. Even if you're having a hard time, recognize there's probably somebody having a much worse time than you. And if you're not, if you're having a great time, then really show compassion because you know what? You're having a great day, but there's other people that are really having a hard time. <clears throat> there's a lot of clearing that's happening right now. And the lake is calm. Oops, sorry. The lake is calm. There's ripples on the water, though right? They're going one way and they're going the other way. And who knows, the wind could whip up again. So right now, that's a message. If the lake is calm in your life, say thank you for that. <laughs> I'm grateful for my calm right now. Okay, here we go. This is uh, the Saints and Angels deck by, uh, I think this is Doreen Virtues. Oh, yeah. See? All we need is love. That's it. Love is everything. Love handles everything. Love makes everything better. That's what we need to show in this situation. It's all around us in ways that we may not even realize. That was love for my landlord to, to let me use his, his uh, fax machine. He heard me in here out, when he was out in the other room. And I was like, ah, I threw the pen across the room. And he was in here right away. started offering me help. That's love, right? That's, un, that's, that's nice. It's around us. And Spirit's telling you right now, love is being shined down upon you. You've asked for it and we, we're, we heard you. We heard you. We know you're going through a hard time. And there is healing. There is loving, healing, supportive energy around you and your situation right now. That's what this message is telling you. And if you can focus on that, I'm getting prickles in my hand right now, my left hand, my heart hand. Prickles. Yes, that is your message. I'm not just like making this work with the other messages. The message for this card is there is loving, healing energy and supportive energy around your particular situation that you're stressed out about right now. So if you can focus on that, that's where the answers will come to you. That's where the solutions will come. That's where you're going to get your results. What would love say? What would love do? If you've been struggling to do it on your own, don't. This is coming from the Father. Don't. I'm standing here. I'm up here. I'm all around you, everywhere. All you have to do is ask. 
You're such a do-it-yourselfer. I kept getting yesterday. The same song kept coming yesterday. I'm just one call away. I'm reaching out my hand. If you need a friend, I'm just one call away. Don't be too proud. Don't be too embarrassed. Don't be too shy. If someone's reaching out a hand, take it. Because Spirit says you have been struggling and they know it. Spirit's got some miraculous solutions for you. You don't know what's coming, but they do. And they're telling you, don't worry about how it's going to be answered. Just recognize that it's going to be answered. They want you to be at peace. And they want you to have the ones that you're concerned about to be at peace as well. That's awesome. Thanks for that. One more and then it's a go. Correct for neutrality and all levels. Wow, we're getting through this whole reading. Which means my work phone isn't ringing. <laughs> so Spirit knows that I needed this. Because see, this helps me. This relaxes me, calms me down, gets me my own messages. That's why I love the work that I do. It's a healing work for not only you, but for me. And then as soon as I'm done, my work line will start calling, right? Because I'm on right now. It's just not ringing right now because I need this. Spirit knows that. So right now, they're asking for you to have faith. Just like I thought, talked about the granary. Everyone was getting so upset. You know, it's right now, it's too late. They've gone through all the council meetings. It's, you know, they're not listening to us. They're not listening to us. They're not listening. Now think about that. With whatever situation's going on in your life, I've tried again and again, tried to reach them. They're not hearing me. They're not hearing me. And I think about that dream about the little wooden, the, the boy that I fell in love with and he wasn't responding and the family walked away and they shook their head and they said, there isn't, there's, no, there's no chance. And I said, you're wrong. Don't give up on him. I'm not giving up on him. I kept sending Reiki in. I kept sending healing energy, loving energy, surrounding him with love. And the family, I, I would see little glimmers of, of light in his blue eyes, but then the light would go out and the family walked away. They were sad. They were sad. They didn't, they didn't you know, they tried, but they just felt like there would be no, no response. So they gave up. And my thing is, don't ever give up on someone that you love or something that you love and don't ever give up on your dreams, ever. Maybe you've got to think about a different way of looking at it. Maybe you have to approach it from a different angle. Or maybe it's about divine timing. You know, just don't give up. Spirit's telling you, have faith. They didn't give up on that granary and it was literally right before the wrecking ball and it came through. And then the community came together and moved that giant granary across the bridge, away from its home, to its new home, where it's gonna stand on its own and start a new life. And you know what it's gonna be made into? A community center where everybody can benefit from it. It's going to a community where, where it's gonna be loved. Same thing, if you're leaving a situation or a job that's not in your highest good and you're scared or you're worried, you're stressed out, you put a lot of time and energy into that, but it just wasn't working in that space. You had to leave it. You're gonna move and you're gonna do your own, you're gonna start your own company, you're gonna start your own work. Remember we had that all about you know, looking things up about getting a business line on uh, business license online or doing it yourself. If something isn't working, maybe it's not that it's work not ever going to work. Maybe it just isn't going to work there. Maybe you need to move it to a new city. Remember, we got there was going to be possible moving, and that was going to be also a challenge. But maybe you got to move to a new place to get things better. Maybe you got to be in a more conducive environment, away from uh, the hustle and bustle. Maybe it's toxic where you're at, and you need to go where it's more peaceful. You want to be where your community is, your soul family, where that granary was being taken. Think about what the, what the granary is. That's a staple food, grain, right? It's the starch of the community. You need that. We needed that. And also, that's old school. There was history in that. And there was no, nothing wrong with that building. It was beautiful. It didn't need to be knocked down. It needed to be, it needed to be touched up and brought to a new place and re-loved. Sometimes you've got to go back to the old school. And, and take what you know from the past and move it to a new place. So many messages, right? Maybe what was bright and shiny and new wasn't as all bright and shiny as you thought it was. Remember, don't, don't mistake and, um, what was it? Don't be deceived by appearances, right? Something that was bright and shiny and looked great. Remember the chess game in the weekly reading? The ones who knocked the queen down? They were all shiny. They had this, you know, shiny facade. But underneath, they were, they were rotten. They were corrupt. They would knock over anyone who got in their way. It was a toxic environment. It was more peaceful out in that tent where the Ark of the Covenant was, where you could connect with your soul. So the granary, the staple, was taken across that bridge. Build a bridge from where you are to where you want to go. Away from the west, taken to the east. The other side of the water, over to your emotional waters, there was a bridge that you had to take. God, I had this dream four years ago. And there was this man and he was standing there and he was saying, it wasn't okay what you did to me. 
And this religious family stepped forward and the woman said, well, he had a job that he had to do or he had a family he had to provide for because something was done that was not okay. And he said, it wasn't okay what you did to me. And I was standing on this mountain barely holding on and I know that, that we were leaving. He was leaving that town. He had a little boy standing next to him and he was leaving. And I said, can I go with you? And there was a bridge that we had to cross. So think about that. The little boy standing next to him was probably his inner child who he was, had not given, remember the covenant that was broken? You weren't giving credit and you weren't recognizing your own self-worth. And he had that little boy standing next to him and he was taking him away from the west side going across this bridge to the east, just like what I watched this morning. He was going to go where there was love, where there was community, a sense of community, where his soul was longing to go, just like the granary showed today. So that's a message. That's victory. We saw victory. So it's happening. So for you too, have faith. Don't give up. Just because it's looking like things are dire at this moment or you, you know, Think about all the things that happened. Put in all this work and effort and we, we weren't able to save it there. But we could save it and move it somewhere else. Right? So sometimes spirit has to course correct us. Sometimes we're going in one direction. Remember that was the message. And all of a sudden a shepherd hood comes out and boop, you're going in a different direction. So you may have had your mind set on this. And spirit says, go ahead, take your first steps forward. You know, make a decision, move. But then all of a sudden you're like, okay, well it won't work there. Well, you're getting course corrected. But have faith that it's working in your highest good because it is. She's standing on the edge of a mountain and there's water coming down like a waterfall. It's free flowing. That's expression. That's allowing feelings to come out. That is life-giving um, energy and support from spirit. And she is, it's like the fool card. This is an Aries card. This is the leap of faith. Eyes closed, arms pulled back, bare feet. I'm jumping. I'm jumping right into spirit's arms. I'm going to do it. Think about all the miracles that have happened in your life. Things that, miracles because you didn't think they would ever happen. You couldn't see how it happened. But it happened. It was a miracle that it happened. But nothing is a miracle to spirit, right? Nothing is difficult for spirit. So have faith that they're going to continue to help you. And they're going to support you. You are either going to fly with those wings or you're going to be lifted. You're about to take a leap of faith. And it's safe. This is spirit telling you yes. It is safe. The Osprey said, remember, there's an opportunity coming. If you want this to happen, you're going to have to grasp it. You're going to have to do it now. The doorway is not going to be open much longer. So you are about to take a leap of faith. And it's safe. Because you're following your heart and you're following Spirit's guidance. They're showing you it's going to pay off in ways more than you realize. Remember the family. I told you yesterday. Family's going to cut him off if he marries that girl. And they did. You're going to be destitute. And he went down a notch or two. But they pulled together, her and him, and they worked together and they built up and he was, he did it on his own. It gave him strength, it gave him power, he did it on his own and he, he brought himself back to exactly what he needed to do on his own terms. So Spirit's telling you, keep your faith. And your optimism, being steady, keeping that, at, that attitude is going to attract the opportunities. It's going to attract the right people and the support that you need. And anything negative, writing down, speaking out, going over the negative, that's going to make it worse. It's going to push all the good away, and it's going to slow your progress down. So before you go to sleep, or every morning when you first wake up in the morning, start again. Clear away any, anything negative that has come in, and make it positive. Switch it. You'll feel a positive lift in your energy. And when your vibration lifts, everything moves in a better direction. You aren't going to be like a magnet pushing away. You're going to be a magnet pulling the positive to you. Because with faith, everything is possible. Spirit just wants us to have faith in them. They want us to trust them. With me, I've been shown all along what, for you, it's faith. We want to see, you said that you would follow your soul's path and we told you we, we, this would happen. And all that's required of you is to stay on your path and stay faithful. What I've been promised, I have seen nothing in the physical. I've been getting messages and signs oh, again and again, yes, you're on the right path. Yes, it's happening. Yes, it's happening. But I have not seen it physically. But I have faith in spirit. I trust. And I don't care what anybody else thinks. If they think I'm crazy. Because one day, you're all going to watch the miracle happen. I believe that. I've watched miracles happen. I've had miracles happen in my life before. And I know it's going to happen. Things happen for a reason. We just need to believe. All right, you guys have a great day. I'm going to upload this.